program today will show you some of the works that went under the hammer during the art auction by Art House Contemporary in Lagos, the 19th in the series. Then we move to Oshun State where a veteran artist is celebrated with drama, an exhibition and so much more. Hello and a warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinwami. In my definition, I am a protest writer with restraint. Works of art done by veteran artist Ben Enwamu is still the toast of art patrons at the 19th Lagos Art Auction by Art House Contemporary. It is also an opportunity to celebrate the Chief Executive Officer, Mrs. Kavita Chellerams. That birthday song is how family, friends and the art community decided to felicitate with the Chief Executive Officer and founder of Art House Contemporary, Mrs. Kavita Telerams, who becomes a year older. <laughs> it's a surprise party which coincides with the preview of the works for the 19th edition of the Art Auction which features an array of works. So after rejoicing with a celebrant, art patrons turn their attention to the task at hand. Well, I think it's an amazing place to showcase African art to the world. And with auctions, we reach out to an international market. So it doesn't necessarily just reach out to Nigerians who live in Nigeria. But as we're advertised internationally, we have clients from all over the world and it's showcasing Nigerian art to the world. To critically analyze the pieces on display and make up their minds about which one they will grab when it's D-Day, there is an array to choose from. Most of the artists pay attention to details while using unusual materials to create them. It has allowed the artists you know, a platform in which to exhibit their works. We all know it's very competitive to be absorbed into the, you know, to the auction arena. So every artist tries to put out the best uh, to be able to participate. So I can assure you that you are seeing the best that the African continent can showcase for now. Because the works are not just by Nigerian artists, it's by African artists, you know, and um, we have to commend Kavita you know, who's been able to sustain this and um, it's a source of encouragement for the artists and it's something that every artist looks forward to, uh, to taking part in. has a story. I think we all have different experiences. And I think that's the beautiful thing about the human experience. And I think for a lot of people, being able to express that in their artwork is um, allows other people who haven't sort of had that experience to uh, to you know gain insights. And sometimes it's just about appreciating beauty or um, you know reflecting God's work. Um, so it's different for everybody. I can say art is for everybody, but there are people who uh, catch the niche to have uh, good art and um, so if you look at this place, um, despite the Austria on ta in town, despite the recession you so to say, um, you still find out that um, people uh, come around, enjoy themselves, they buy into it and uh, 
it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's not just fun. When you look at art, and when you go around art, and when you love art, your life becomes long. Because life is short, art is long. All these varieties haven't gone unnoticed by the art patrons who are here. Some of them are really impressed with the new kids on the block. Art House, as usual, have actually done a lot you know, for art in this country uh, in terms of trying to place good value into art. Uh, this body, body of work is actually very amazing in terms of uh, the, uh, actually the addition of young artists uh, and the old masters. Uh, this is the first time, I mean, there is enough Benny Wools. You know, it's going to be a very amazing auction. Quite a number of interesting pieces here. Um, you know, I've seen some of the big names um, and also new um, artists, um, but very good pieces, yes. I'm impressed. Um, so I, I'm particularly impressed with the works of the young contemporary artists. And I, I, I'm beginning to see a transition towards abstraction, uh, which I think is good because it means that the artists are, are, are thinking in terms of you know, what they put down on canvas is not really what they see. So it's heading, in terms of my reading, in terms of social commentary. Um, and the works are, are becoming bold in terms of the way the artists leave their mark on canvas. Um, I'm also uh, very excited to see a number of works from old masters that we haven't seen. I think behind me you'll see a work of Dele Jagada, which is an old piece. But there's also a, a very, very interesting pencil sketch that's also here, which um, shows the, the, an old master doing new work. And um, for me, that's uh, kind of exciting to see how his mark and his representation changes over the course of 30 years. So all in all, I am highly impressed. Most of them still believe that investing in the arts is a good way to go, no matter what's happening in the economy. It has been quite interesting because we know the economy is not as good as it should be. But then the auction has continued. And um, amazingly, people are still buying because they know whatever they buy at the auction is authentic and has value. So you have a lot of people, you know, some will not even come to the exhibition. They have seen the catalog. There are those people who will not attend the auction. They will bid from the house over the telephone. Uh, that tells you how sophisticated it is now, you know. So, uh, but the auction is an unpredictable market. You can, it's not a regular market. A lot of factors come into play. You know, so um, it, it's, it's uh, something that a lot of people look up to. This is something that people do, you know, very much from the heart. So, um, you know, it's not something that I think people gravitate towards when times are really, really tough. But, you know, as you said, I think that potentially we are coming out of it. And, you know, if you have the capacity to be able to invest in pieces like this, it's something that, you know, I hope to be able to leave for my children. So it's something that we'd keep for a very, very long time. In Nigeria, art has really, um, you know, become big. And it's a good form of investment, a good store of value. And people are understanding that. And Nigerian and other African artists are really going places around the world. So valuations are increasing as well, and people are understanding that. So I think that those are some of the drivers. And then when you are coming out of a recession, and going into a growth phase, typically there's confidence, uh, you know, and people are willing to spend money. And no one knows that better than the chief executive officer of Nigeria's foremost auction house. It's been a long journey developing the secondary market here, 
as she shares some of the events they have done to encourage new crop of buyers. Well, we started two years ago with the affordable art auction and that brought in a lot of clients who have now moved on into the main auction. They were scared, they were worried and the affordable really brought in a lot of young professionals in their 30s and 40s who look at art as not something that they only like, but something that they feel will appreciate in value over the years. 99 lots done by leading masters and contemporary artists went under the auctioneer's hammers. And although a camera didn't catch that moment, Ben and Wong's Dance of Canewood, an oil and canvas work done in 1981, and his other piece done on gouache on paper called Yoruba Man, stole the show, followed by contemporary artist Beju Alatishe's Bingbe and her family portrait, and Chike Obeagu's live performance, a 2017 mixed media collage, sold for three times its original estimated price.